Hi guys, welcome to the weekend vlog. I feel like it's been so long since I've done a regular vlog, um, even though it's been about a week. I just feel like it's been like way longer than that. It feels like forever, because I had the um, New York trip and everything. Um, I am getting gas right now. Today, it's Saturday, so it's kind of like my time to go get pampered. Um, I'm going to get my nails done first and then my hair, and I cannot wait. But I have a lot to catch you guys up on. Um, so, yesterday, Skyla, I had ordered, like, I guess it was last week or the week before, um, the Frozen collection at Pottery Barn went on sale for 40% off, and I bought Skyla a whole set for her room, and we kind of, like, transitioned her room into a Frozen room. It is so cute, guys. Um, it came in last night, so we, um unboxed everything and kind of like got it set up in her room because I wanted to see how it looked and it was perfect. Give, give this give this woman some toast. Let's look at your quilt. A satin quilt. Who's on it? Is that Anna and Olaf? Oh my gosh, this is nice. This is really good quality. Oh, look at that. 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 Oh, Look. Where's on? Where's Elsa? Where's Elsa? She's on the bottom. There's Elsa down there. Oh. Look. Look, Elsa. Look. Elsa. That's Elsa. That's Elsa. Oh my gosh, Where's Anna? Cute. Anna's on the top with Olaf. Anna. That's Anna right Olaf. There. Olaf. <laughs> Details are just so cute. Aren't they so beautiful? Oh, uh, and the quality is on point too. Oh my gosh, she loves it so much too. She was so excited. Um, the pillowcases have her name on the edge like that, and then the sheets have it um, right here. And I put a second comforter underneath there. And since this is a, um, like this is just the toddler conversion from the crib, it's way too small for the set. This is a twin set. Um, look at that. Isn't that just amazing? Um, it's a twin set. Oh, that is, does not go with this. So it's way too big right now, but um, it will grow with her. And once she gets her big girl bed, it'll be perfect. The quality of this is just beyond. And I got it when they had a 40% off sale for one day. So I really hit the jackpot. Look at this stitching. And I have it kind of like folded up like this just so that it'll like semi fit on her um, bed because it's, like I said, it's way too big for her bed right now. But since she won't be in this forever, I felt like it was a good purchase that we could um, carry through to um, her older years or as long as she wants it. She dumped all of her books on this chair just now, but here's the chair. It's so cute, guys. It kind of still needs to be like broken in a little bit, but isn't that just so precious? I love the stitching. I'm really, really in love with this line. <laughs> I don't know if I've talked about this yet, about the fact that my camera, um, like my mount broke for my car. So I need to order a new one, but um, if it looks a little different, it's because my mount broke. Oh my God. Guys. Oh my God. I'm so glad this happened here and not Oh my God, my key. I drove out of my house without my key because I took the diaper bag out of my car. Oh my gosh, and my car won't turn on. Hey, I have really bad news. So when I got into my car um, in the garage, I started it and then took the diaper bag out. Um, and when I took the diaper bag out, I guess my keys were in the diaper bag, but my car still drove away and I'm at the gas station by our house. Um, but now it won't turn on because I guess my keys were in the diaper bag. So can you come to the, di to the gas station and bring my keys? Oh my 
my god. I can't believe this happened. This is throwing a wrench in my whole day. <sighs> okay, thanks. It's burning as heat out here. I'm, I should probably go in and get a water or something. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. He's coming, but I cannot, guys. I cannot believe it's happened. I would talk to you guys with the door closed, but um, it's too hot. Whoa. Thank God Nick can come bring my keys. Like, what would I do otherwise? This has never happened to me before. The other thing that has been going on, this is weird to be telling you guys at the gas station while I'm freaking, my car won't start, but I had a chemical pregnancy this past month. Um, and I'm not laughing because I think it's funny. I'm laughing just because I don't have, it. I don't know any other way to like, act about it. I, I'm the, I guess I'm the type of person that when something happens and I can't change it, I just kind of accept it like right away. And I, tr I just try not to think too much about what if or things like that because it drives you crazy. So I don't mean to be offensive to laugh when I say that. Um, cause it's not funny. It's sad. It really is. But, um, this past month, I was taking a shower and I remember looking down my belly was so bloated and I was like whoa I'm way bloated and I had been feeling really sick because I just hadn't been feeling myself for a few weeks um, I had my, my teeth were sore and that's like a telltale sign that I had with Adeline was my teeth got sore and I knew that that was a hormonal thing and I, um, I was like I need to take a pregnancy test and I had a first response um, like one of the nice first response tests. And I still remember, um, I took the test and within like one or two minutes, a really faint line appeared on the test. And in my experience with pregnancy tests, if there's any faint line, you're pregnant. So I, I was shocked and I'm like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. Like I'm pregnant, I can't believe this. We were not planning to get pregnant. I didn't even know that I had ovulated because I haven't even had a period yet, um, postpartum, well until now. Um, and I, I, I was in disbelief because, sorry if this is TMI, but Nick and I used the pull out method and I didn't think that I was ovulating yet. So getting that faint, faint line, I freaked, guys. I completely flipped out. And then I took another one, like right after that, and it had another faint line. So I had two pregnancy tests with faint lines, and I was like for sure that I was pregnant. I thought like 100% I was pregnant, because in my experience, when I get a faint line, I am. I even like told my closest friend and my mom, and I showed Nick, and Nick was like getting really excited. And it's actually sad because Nick was so, so, so excited. Um, and I told all my friends, and at first I was freaking out, and then I went to bed thinking like, I'm gonna test in the morning and I'm sure it's gonna be darker. And um, I went to bed, like didn't sleep the whole night, trying to convince myself that it was okay because uh, prior to that moment, we wanted to wait until next year to try again. And I, waited, I stayed up all night convincing myself that this would be good because the spacing between them would be exactly the same and like I convinced myself that I wanted, you know, that this is good and that I wanted this. And <clears throat> the next morning I woke up and I took another test and it was stark white negative. And like first morning urine is supposed to be when it's the darkest and it was just literally stark white negative. So I figured like, okay, like 48 hours later then because usually HCG doubles every 48 hours. So I figured like, okay, in two days, it'll be darker, a little bit darker. And so 48 hours later, I tested and I got another extremely faint, 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 faint line. But it wasn't getting any darker. And then all the subsequent tests were completely stark white negative. And guys, I'm telling you, I took multiple tests a day. I spent a ton of money on pregnancy tests because then I got sad and I kept, I was like searching and searching and wanting it to come back and it never did. Um, and it never did. It was just negative after negative after negative after negative. Um, so 
So then I started bleeding and knew that I wasn't pregnant. So when I looked it up online, it said that sometimes when you get a really, really faint positive and they don't get any darker and, you know, they just don't progress, that usually it's just a chemical pregnancy, which means like the sperm and egg met and they couldn't properly implant, so they shed, and that's probably why I'm bleeding. Um, so, I mean, I guess there's the chance that it could have been false positives, but in my experience with pregnancy tests, I've never had a false positive, and I sent pictures of the test to my friends, and all of my friends said, that's definitely positive. I didn't have a single person say, that's negative. Everyone that saw the test said that it was positive. Um, and it was really a weird feeling because you guys know that with Skyla and Adeline, I got pregnant right away both times, and I never, um, like, my, my positive just kept getting darker every day, and everything progressed normally, and this was just a really emotional roller coaster, and it was weird to go from, like, first seeing and being like, this can't happen, like, I'm not ready, I can't, like, do this, like, oh my god, like, freaking out. And then to the very next day being so excited and so happy. And then, and then it wasn't. So, so we've talked like, you know, after us both becoming excited, we've talked like, okay, does that mean that we are ready to have another one? And we go back and forth about being like, yeah, it would be awesome for them to be the same, the exact same age gap. Have them both like 18, 17, 18 months apart. That would be amazing. And then we go back and forth to like, we are not ready for that. So that's just like a conversation that we're having now. But initially we wanted to wait until next year and it wasn't even like a question. But now that this has happened, it's brought up questions about how we really feel. So, um, yeah. All right, my hair is done. I love it. I'm living for it. It has like a little bit of um, like a strawberry-ish undertone and I love that. I think for the fall I'm going to go a little bit more um, strawberry because I just love, love, love strawberry blonde. It's like my go-to. So I think we're going to start like gradually going towards a strawberry blonde but with some really bright blonde highlights so that it has really gorgeous dimension. Um, but look what came in today. My friend Carrie brought it to me because I had it sent to her because this company reached out to me after I closed my P.O. box um, and said that they had already made that back when I had my P.O. box open and they were going to send it, but then I closed it. So they didn't have anywhere to send it and I have not opened up a new P.O. box. So I had them send it to my friend Carrie um, to her office and um, she just brought it up to me while I was getting my hair done. So now I'm going to head home and whew, it is hot today. I'm going to head home, but I have to stop at HEB first to get some super plus tampons. Hello, it's Sunday and I'm sitting on the floor with Adeline right now because she's like all about crawling around and exploring the house. So I'm on the floor a lot these days. Today, this is what I did. I cleaned my house. Um, did like three or four loads of laundry. Um, we hung a couple things on the wall, which is progress because we haven't really hung anything, honestly. Um, it's just hard to like commit to decorating this house because I, I know that we're not going to be here for, I mean, I'm not saying that we're not gonna be here for at least a couple years because I mean, we'll probably be here like maximum of two years. We're thinking about building a house. We've been talking about it and it's starting to become like more and more of like an actual situation rather than just something we've been talking about. So in like two years or so, we're, we're probably gonna build. So I'm like not really committing to this house right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't really, I haven't like organized or hung anything or like gotten the girls room in order whatsoever because I just am like, this isn't our like forever home, so like, you know what I'm saying? She'll crawl all the way across the house when we sit down to play. <gasps> Tell everyone hello, because they haven't seen you yet. They haven't seen you yet. See, I've got four teeth on top. Four teeth are growing in. It's wild. And I'm crawling and pulling myself up on things. 
They, it's just, the time's going by so fast. And look at the little play area. I swear y'all, like I started, I'm at the point now where like the playroom upstairs, I'll clean up maybe, like maybe once a week. But it's starting to get to the point where I only clean it up whenever the cleaners are coming and I just clean it up so that they can get to everything because it's kind of pointless to pick up the toys. I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of pointless picking up the toys every day or every couple of days because Skyla goes in there and dumps everything out anyway, so like why, right? So this is what we've got going on here in our little, this should be a kitchen, like a breakfast nook, but it's a play. It's a, a second playroom for the girls. Also today, I've been working on Adeline's birthday party because she has three months, wait, no, four months until she's one. So. I've been working on our birthday party and like getting kind of some ideas put together for this because um, for Skyla's first birthday party, I did everything myself. And so for Adeline's first birthday party, I'm gonna do everything myself again. Skyla's, I didn't. I My friend Carrie basically did everything for Skyla's birthday party and it was really nice. But um, I my inspiration for Adeline's birthday party is the birthday party that we went to in Arizona. Okay, Adeline. What you doing? Saying hi? Hi. <laughs> Why do you do funny things with your mouth whenever? Oh look, the whole gang's here. Why do you do funny things with your mouth when you see yourself on the camera? <laughs> You're so silly. So those of you who saw when we went to Arizona for Nick's sister's daughter, her second birthday, so my niece, her party, y'all know how like much I loved that birthday party because it was a staycation for everybody and everybody was just so relaxed and chill. Um, I feel like everybody, when, when you're on a staycation, everybody is so relaxed and I just loved the whole vibe of that party. So that's my inspiration for um, Adeline's party. Guys, Duchess needs to get shaved so bad. Kyla, we're not having any candy right now, okay? We're, gonna, we're not having candy. Are you want some dinner? Are you hungry? No. Okay, well, let me cook some dinner, okay? Maybe that'll make you feel better. Okay, bridge. Can't believe Nick brought this in by himself. Can't believe you brought it in by yourself. I can't believe you got that out of your truck by yourself. All right, Nick is giving the girls their bath, and today was just like a little chatty update. It wasn't really a vlog, so um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will talk to you in my next one, though. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure your bell notification is turned on. Leave this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one, which is gonna be a vlog because we're going to Houston. Me, Skyla, Adeline, my friend Vicky, and her son Braxton were taking a overnight trip to Houston to go to, um, basically just to take a little trip to get out, you know, just go on a like one night staycation. Um, we're gonna be going to the aquarium one day, um, the Galleria, um, maybe stopping at Rainforest Cafe again because we just love it, it was so fun. So um, that'll be the next vlog, so can't wait to take you guys along on that trip as well, bye. Thank you.